Well, hello everyone. Today we are going to do a new, not a new recipe, one that I did in my early days and it was a real success, but now I want to do it, make a video that I can put in my upcoming book. And that video was, I was in my early days and it just wasn't a good quality video. So we're going to redo this and today we're going to make a double batch so that it'll fill a whole four trays on a medium freeze dryer. Tuna salad without mayonnaise and we're going to use Philadelphia cream cheese. So we got four packs, four eight ounce blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese, two cups of finely diced celery, two cups of finely diced onions, four 12 ounce cans of chunk tuna in water, and one 16 ounce bottle of sweet relish. I do have another jar of that just in case I need to add more, because I kind of like a sweet relish taste to my tuna salad. So this is real pretty easy to sim simple to get going so let's put our cream cheese in here. This has been out for a few hours so hopefully it's nice and soft now. Okay so we got that in the bowl. My cheese. Let's get some liquid in there. This is a viewer suggested tip. Last time I just dumped my tuna in there and then tried thinning out my cheese. And my tuna ended up being really fine mush. But a viewer suggested just using the liquid first to get all that cheese creamed up. And then we can put the tuna in. And we should end up with a more flaky tuna. Although, for rehydration purposes, you don't want too big chunk of a bit, chunk of tuna in there. Okay, so we got that in there. I'm just going to mix this cream cheese up until it's almost into a paste. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that made easy work of it. And if you got the tools, you might as well use them, I guess. Alright, so, made a nice little sauce out of that. So let's take our tuna fish and add that. All four cans. Okay, give that a good mix. Then we're going to add our two cups of celery, finely chopped, and our two cups of onions, finely chopped. And our 16 ounce jar of sweet relish. Obligatory taste test. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, let me get this all cleared off and we'll start trying it up. All right, so we've got my scale on pounds, 
the tray is teared. So we want to put two and a half pounds or thereabouts on each tray. I'm going to start out with two pounds. Let's see what, what we got left. Alright, so I did three trays and I got that much left over and I put it at two pounds. So we're going to add a little bit more. Two and a quarter pounds. So we'll say two and a half pounds trays. That gives you three trays. Use our dividers set to 10. This is going to make a lot of tuna salad bags. And there you have it. Three trays of tuna salad. Now that looks a little bit runny and it is. But I'm not worried about that. Uh, because we're going to freeze dry it anyway just won't add as much water back to it so if you were making this fresh you might want to use half of the uh, water from the tuna put the other half aside because you do want a nice creaminess to your cream cheese and just mix it half of like two cans at a time in of that liquid in with the cream cheese and that would make it up a little bit thicker but we're not worried about that because we're gonna freeze dry this anyway and I got all that flavor from all that water in with our tuna so I'm gonna get this in the freezer freezing it solid and into the freeze dryer next time you see it it will be coming out of the freeze dryer very simple very easy to make this no time at all and I got to come up with something experiment I guess to do on my third fourth tray so I'll see you when this comes out of the freeze dryer okay there we have it my tuna salad out of the freeze dryer with the obligatory 40 hours which is what I always run my stuff at, at least, due to my work schedule. So let's get these packaged up and do a taste test. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use package these with uh, some Sailor Boy Pilot Bread. That's the way they come in the box. And bread tube kind of like that and I use my spare slot in the freeze dryer this time so we did not freeze dry my pilot bread so what I think I'll do is I'll take three crackers and two squares. One, two. I'm just gonna kind of crumble that up like that and toss in my three crackers. Do my preliminary, I guess is the word for it, seal with the Ziploc. And we will do it like that until I get them all packaged. Then we'll come back, open this up, put a 300 cc O2 absorber in there, and then do a heat cell. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we packaged these with uh, three crackers, two squares, and a 300 cc O2 absorber. Now let's throw a heat seal on there. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. There you go. Beautiful seal. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. 
Alright, I'll get these all done off camera and then we'll do a taste test. There you go. I haven't played music in Fast Forwarder for quite some time, so I thought you'd enjoy that. So, let me get these put away, and then we'll do a taste test, and we'll let this cool down. Okay, so we ended up with 15 bags of the tuna salad with three crackers in it. Actually, somebody's going to be short, because we ended up with 13 bags with three crackers and one bag with two crackers because that's all that was in the box and then one bag I didn't put any crackers in because pilot bread right now is very hard to come by and I'm gonna do my test taste test without the pilot bread just because I don't want to be using that in my taste test I want to put those away for long-term storage so we will use just regular bread and I think that's my test bag right there which just has the tuna salad. So let me get this cleared off and then we'll do a reconstitution and a taste test. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so let's get this opened. Now bear in mind that my other bags do have the three crackers in it. We'll take out our O2 absorber and we would take out our crackers if we had any in there, but for my test packet I'm not doing that. So we had, what did we put in there? We put two squares of tuna salad in there and I got exactly one cup of water here and we are going to add this sparingly. I'm going to do it one quarter of a cup at a time. Okay, that's not enough. a half a cup and that is going to probably be just about right so we'll give that a good mix so we put that in there so we're going to zip it shut and let that just sit for two minutes and I'll be right back Okay, that's been about two minutes. Let's open that up. Give it a stir. And we'll let that sit for two more minutes. Okay, that's been another two minutes. Let's stir that up one more time. Obviously, we could take this right out of the pouch and put it on our crackers, but I want to show you the consistency of adding a half a cup of water. I could have probably added just a little bit less, but...
that don't look too bad. Okay. Let's put it on a sandwich. All right, so as you can see, it's very touchy, this uh, tuna. You can, you can put too much water in there just very easily. A quarter of a cup was definitely too dry. A half a cup, it's a little bit wet. Mmm. But the taste on that is delicious. The onions and the celery in that have just a little bit of a crunch still. Oh yeah. Very flavorful. You would never know that that wasn't mayonnaise. Mmm. That is good. I am impressed. That tastes delicious. Mm. Well, I'm enjoying this. That was good. So I'm going to say, on the rehydration, just slightly under a half a cup. Maybe three-eighths of a cup. When you're in the woods, you're not going to have your measuring cup, probably. And you're going to just add it. Water till you get the consistency you want. This is this is nice. It's got great flavor. Just a little bit too runny. As you can see. But the flavor is all there. So, this is kind of like a redo from a previous video that I did and I wasn't really happy with the quality of the recording and I'm wanting to work this into my new book so I wanted to have a nice video to uh, put in there and I think this will work I'm gonna get two more slices of bread I'm gonna finish that off and I will thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>